you don't need to spend a ton of money to dress better. It's only about what you get, where you get it, and how you wear it. So let's start off with the first one. When you're starting off to buy nicer clothes and you want to start dressing better, you should only focus on versatile and essential items. And I know I've said this so many times, but believe me, you still need to hear it. So hypothetically, if I were to restart my wardrobe, this is what I would get first. Plain t-shirts, short sleeve and long sleeve, quarter zips, well-fitting jeans, well-fitting pants, a hoodie, sweater, few jackets, and a polo. To me, this is a perfect base. With these clothes, you can go to pretty much any occasion and still look pretty good. However, when you're buying these clothes, there's a few things to keep in mind. For one, the color. So all these pieces look good with pretty much anything, but it won't look good if you get a bunch of different colors. I personally like to stick to neutral colors just because they're so easy to wear in between. So for example, if I got a black t-shirt, a gray hoodie, black pants, and beige jeans, I can mix all of these and it's still going to look good. It doesn't matter the color. Now that being said, when you hear this, sure, technically, if you get everything in the color black, you could pair all of it. But let's be real, that is very boring. In fact, that's probably one of the first mistakes that I made when I started getting into men's fashion was thinking, I look good in the color black, so everything that I need to buy here on out should be in the color black. At that point, it's really not dressing better, you're just being safe. Another thing to keep in mind when you're buying these clothes is the fit. I like most things in slim fit, so most of my pants are slim fit. My t-shirts, definitely. Polos, absolutely. Most of these things aren't slim fit. And I gotta say, slim fit is probably the most versatile, but again, if you're just starting off, get most things in slim fit, but you could definitely experiment with like an over oversized hoodie, oversized t-shirt. But again, I really got to stress the importance of getting your base first, and then you can start experimenting with other things, assuming that you have the money to do so. And once you get your base, that's when you're able to start exploring with different things. Or what I like to do is get more of the things that I know I'm going to wear. For example, I love hoodies. There's so many different ways to wear it. And I know if I buy different hoodies, that's definitely something that I'm always going to be wearing. So getting it in different fits, different colors, different brands. To me, that's a smart way to start shopping for a wardrobe that I could wear anytime and anywhere. Or you could also start experimenting with different kinds of fabrics. Fabrics and textures is probably one of the easiest ways to dress better and you're not really switching up too much. So for example, instead of just a crew neck sweatshirt, you can start getting sweaters in a cable knit and a knit design in different fabrics like cashmere, wool, anything like that. And I know those sound very expensive, but that's exactly why we're talking about the next thing is where to get your clothes. So of course, this just depends on your budget. If you're very limited and you don't have a ton, the first place you should look at is secondhand clothing. So you can go to thrift stores like Goodwill, Salvation Army, or whatever's close to you. You could also find some gems on places like eBay, Poshmark, or Depop. This is a great way to start buying clothes if you don't have a lot of money. This is exactly what I used to do when I was a teenager. I used to find some absolute gems. Another place that I used to love to shop at was places like Ross and Marshalls. Now these are US companies, but basically the whole idea with these is you can get marked down items from other brands like Calvin Klein, Levi's, sometimes even places like Ralph Lauren. These are mostly just things that didn't sell in their normal stores. And then Ross and Marshalls will buy it for cheaper and therefore selling it to you for even cheaper. Now it's definitely been a while since I went to one of these stores, but I can guarantee you if you go at least three times, you are going to find some good. I used to get a lot of flannels, jackets for again, not very expensive. And the step above that is going to be fast fashion stores like H&M, ASOS, or Zara. Again, if you're on a budget, the first place you need to check out is clearance sections, sales, or just anything that's marked down from the actual brand. This is actually something that I still do to this day. I try not to buy clothes for full price. I only ever do if we're entering a new season and I know these items probably are not going to go on sale, but there are some brands that do sell things at a discount coming into a new season. So here's exactly all the brands that I would shop at on a budget. One of the best places to check out is Hollister. This one's definitely very underrated. I think that's because when most people think of Hollister, they think of every single piece of clothing having that bird on it. I definitely would stay away from these things, but there are so many pieces from Hollister that doesn't have that, and they look identical to Abercrombie pieces because they're owned by the same company. And just to prove it to you, here are my best items from Hollister. And it's one of my more comfortable items, so I wear this a ton. Now, I gotta say, this one probably isn't available in store anymore, but I'm gonna be linking some alternatives if I could find any. One of my more recent pickups is this linen jacket, and I think I picked this up for only $50. And for one, it's linen. I absolutely love linen. The fit is incredible. I love the color and especially for the price, it's hard to find anything even similar. I'm also a really big fan of hoodies from Hollister. They're always incredibly soft. They have a good fit. So for me, it's one of those items that I can't go wrong with. But there's one item in particular that I think Hollister should be known for, and that is their pants. And that's because they always have sales going on where you can buy their pants for 25, 30, or 35 bucks. These are things like chinos, 
jeans in different fits, a bunch of different colors. And I gotta say, they hold up pretty nicely. So especially for pants, I think Hollister is one of the best places to check out. So if you're sleeping on Hollister, give it a try and I guarantee you, you will love it. Now this next brand is an absolute no brainer and that is Uniqlo. This is pretty much the internet's favorite brand right now. And I think it's for good reason. It's affordable and it's great quality. And again, to prove it, here are my best items. I picked up some wool sweaters. More specifically, these are lamb wool. They have an amazing fit. In 80% of other brands, wool is gonna be well over 150 bucks, but I picked these up for less than 100 bucks each. And something very similar is cashmere. Most brands are gonna sell cashmere for 200 bucks, but again, this one is only $100. If you've never felt cashmere before, this is the perfect place to get it. It's extremely soft, perfect for the fall, and I absolutely love the fit. But I did pick up a green one from Uniqlo. This one was only 40 bucks. I love the color. It's insanely soft. I'm gonna be wearing this a ton. And of course, I gotta mention at least one pair of pants. I love corduroy, especially corduroy pants, and these from Uniqlo just look incredible. And they actually have a bunch of different colors. I also own it in a green. These are definitely more of a trouser, so it's a little bit more sophisticated, and it looks great. Now, I mentioned hoodies. My absolute favorite place to get a affordable hoodies is ours. This is only $65. And let me tell you, I own a ton of hoodies. Ours is probably my favorite one just because the price is amazing. And I love the colors that ours drops. All right, stepping into a little bit more of an expensive brand, but anything that this brand drops, I absolutely love. And that is Abercrombie. Now it's still definitely affordable because you can still find a ton of different items for less than hundred bucks. And here's everything that I would buy. So for one, your jeans. I think these retail for about 80 bucks, which is definitely a little bit more on the steep side, but these jeans last me forever. They're insanely good quality and they're perfect for the fall and winter because they're thick enough to keep you warm. And again, they just have so many different fits and colors that there's pretty much something for everybody. And I absolutely love their polos. In fact, I'm so excited to go to Abercrombie this fall so I could pick up more sweater polos because honestly, that's kind of what blew up Abercrombie crumbie more recently their sweater polos are amazing and i'm definitely gonna be wearing a ton of them they also have really good sweaters which is an absolute fall essential so not only am i going to be leaving a link to everything that i'm talking about but also everything that i'm going to shop for this new season that is still affordable now around that same price range is banana republic this brand is one of the best brands to shop for high quality material but not so expensive so when i think of banana republic i think of cashmere i think of wool but for significantly less than what other brands would charge for so here are my favorite items again a cashmere sweater for around 150 bucks this one i've had for well over a year now and i still love it it's held up nicely it's still incredibly soft and i love the slim fit i also got a wool blend coat that just looks amazing in fact when i put this on i feel like bruce wayne so if you've never experimented with the coat before definitely get one similar to this especially from banana republic if you don't want to spend a ton of money i also love their polos you can get so many different types of polos sweater polos in a bunch of different materials all costing less than $60. And finally, probably one of the most important things are shoes. Now I've always said it, but most shoes under hundred bucks are just really boring and you're gonna see this everywhere. But here are some of my favorite options for around that price range. So keeping things under hundred bucks, let's talk about the Puma Slipstreams. This is a little bit more on the underrated side, but they're comfortable, they look good, and they're very versatile. Now the most classic one is gonna be Converse. You just can't go wrong with Converse. I personally would go with Converse Chuck 70s. Here's one called the Converse Chuck 70 Marquise. This one looks amazing. I'm gonna be wearing this a ton in the fall. Now, if you have 150 bucks, you can get a little bit more better options. I personally would go with Doc Martens. Now, again, this is a classic. You're gonna see this a lot, but it's one of the best shoes or if you wanna get the boots. When it comes to price and quality, I love Doc Martens. And finally, probably one of the most important things is how you wear it. It doesn't really matter how many items you own. It's all about what you wear and how you wear it. And the best way to start getting into this is just getting outfit inspiration. Start finding influencers who you like how they dress and for right now just start copying it down to a t now once you get comfortable with that then you can start experimenting with your own things your own styles and you're just going to start noticing preferences that you have to make things your own it's the same thing with aesthetics so if you like the old money style if you like streetwear quite literally whatever you want it's always great to experiment with things and again just see what you like but at the very least, you should be matching colors. And there's so many ways to do this, but I personally would just go on Pinterest, search up brown outfit men, and then that's a good way to start. And the easiest way to dress better is just by layering. Throw on a jacket, throw on more layers. Of course, if the weather allows you, and that's a great way to dress better. Now I did talk about how much I love Uniqlo, and if you wanna see the 10 best items from Uniqlo, here's a video that's gonna show you exactly that.